what is going on everybody I just wanted to do a quick video on my mobile setup so I chose to go with a cheaper alternative to either buying a truck or using an enclosed trailer so what I en ended up doing was I went down to the uh, to Harbor Freight in the States and I picked myself up one of these build your own trailers from Harbor Freight um, I believe this trailer cost me around $200 um, uh, Canadian and that's just because I got it on sale um, built it myself uh, put the plywood down um, it is a foldable trailer but I opted for it not to stay folded and then I put down some extra D rings so I've got two up front here I've got another two up on the, uh, the front pieces so that I could strap down the uh, the 65 gallon tank and then into the chassis of the the actual trailer itself I have uh, these D-rings also okay so these are not just bolted into the floor they're bolted into the chassis of the of the trailer so I have another two um, and then finally <coughs> sorry excuse the mess and then I have two more back here um, so what do I have for a mobile setup well for me I decided that it was important if I was going to do 100% mobile um, or mobile in general that I needed my own water source so I have a 65 gallon tank um, here and I will put a link down on where I um, where I purchased each and every one of these pieces um, this particular tank actually came from a maple syrup um, uh, uh, store that sells uh, products for making maple syrup, so for farming and things like that, um, and it worked out great. So from the 65 gallon tank, we have, uh, it goes into our on and off switch and then uh, an Everflow uh, filter. And then it goes into an Everflow uh, RV pump. Now this pump is 5.5 GPM. It works uh, fantastically. I have never had uh, any issues with it. And it provides plenty of pressure to go into my um, Sunjo pressure washer. Now this, uh, this runs off of a battery. So this attaches to a tractor battery that I have, um, just a tractor battery I bought from Canadian Tire and it works great. Now what else do I have on my trailer? Uh, the only other things I have on the trailer are um, one large uh, tote and this keeps um, all my uh, exterior components uh, and my wash buckets, my wheel woolies um, and then some of the just my exterior stuff. My interior stuff stays in uh, my SUV along with a few other things. Now for electricity, I opted for uh, this Champion uh, this champion generator. Um, it's great because it has lots of different um, 120 volt uh, on separate fuses. So I have one, two, it has three um, separate uh, fused 120 volts. And I just got these little converters to go from like the RV uh, style uh, plugins or um, I don't know what the other what they call these other style plugins but that basically it looks like that and then it goes down to your your standard plug um, and I've never had a problem running uh, anything off of here uh, it uses very little fuel noise it could be quieter but in all honesty you're usually working within you know that nine to five range. So I don't use this at like seven, eight o'clock in the morning and I don't use this late at night. But to be perfectly honest with you, it's, it's no, um, it, it's not any louder than your standard lawnmower, okay? It's not an inverter, so it's not really quiet. But for the price, again, I got this on sale. Uh, I think I got it on sale for like 500 bucks. Um, I change the oil once a year in it and it, it's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the only other thing that I do a little differently is I run Shell 91 Octane through it. It's just a cleaner fuel, uh, less ethanol buildup, and uh, it seems to run really well with no issues. 
And then I have another tote uh, strapped down the bottom here. I think this is, that's my microfibers. Uh, that goes again into my SUV. And then I have a uh, canopy. So the canopy is obviously great for when uh, the weather's not so good outside and you still want to detail. So everything gets strapped down, carry a little extra jerry can here. And that's pretty well it. You don't need, uh, I would say this problem, this entire set run me about a thousand dollars. And honestly, it works very well. Um, it gets me to where I, I need to go reliably. Um, it allows me to not only bring everything that I need to the customer, but you charge accordingly for that. So if you're using the customer's power and water, you can't charge you know what you would normally charge because you're using <clears throat> their resources. It's your time, but it's you're using their resources. Um, the 65 gallon tank, I could probably get away with doing three full size cars. Um, it, it just depends on <clears throat> what you're doing. Uh, you know, I find when I'm doing floor mats on every single car and they're really dirty. Yeah, I use the power washer a lot to break away a lot of the grime and dirt. Um, and if you're clay barring the car or you're having to wash the rinse the car down a second time with like an because you're using an iron remover or anything like that yeah you're going to use a lot more um i'm pretty limited <clears throat> i charge accordingly enough where if i can do one to two cars in a day um for a part-time business for myself um it's it's more than adequate uh and uh it's it's a reasonable size and this fully loaded you know it is quite heavy um, but it's all relative to the size of trailer that I have on, have it on too, right? So you got to think about that sort of stuff. Uh, if you're trying to carry this stuff, let's say just in a, an SUV or a truck, it's all relative. You can't buy the biggest thing possible because water weighs a lot and not all your vehicles are going to be rated to, uh, to handle that if, and that's something you should keep in, uh, into account. Uh, so that's, that's my quick trailer setup. If you guys have any questions about it or any uh, comments, please uh, throw them down below and I'll answer them. And again, I'll throw a link onto everything that's on this trailer and where you can buy it, uh, mainly in Canada because I deal with Canada. There's plenty of resources in the States, guys. Uh, but in Canada here, you know, if, if you're doing mobile detailing uh, as a business in Canada, then you'll be able to obtain all these things either online or going into the store. Okay, thanks very much, guys. We'll see you on the next one.